Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss about the realization of LC driving point impedance or admittance using cover second method. In cover second form, a driving point impedance consists of ladder of series capacitor and shunt inductor and is mostly useful for high pass filter. So first let us discuss about the procedure in order to implement LC driving point impedance or admittance using cover second matter. So in first step expand the bracket term then arrange the power of numerator and denominator in ascending order that is the power of numerator or denominator is from lower to higher power then in second step check the power it means we are going to check the lowest power the lowest power of denominator should be greater than the power of numerator if the power is not as described in the step 2 then exchange between the admittance function and impedance function that is if your function is given in impedance form then convert it into the admittance form and if it is given in admittance form then convert it into the impedance form then in third step we perform the continued fraction after performing the continued fraction then the achieved quotient is realized into the circuit component so if you are realizing the impedance function then the sequence of quotient will be z1 y1 z2 y2 up to zn y1 and if you are realizing the admittance function the sequence of quotient will be from y1 z1 y2 z2 up to yn zn To get more clear vision about the core second matter, let us take an example in order to realize the given driving point imprints using core second matter. We take here example as Z is equals to S square plus 1, S square plus 3 by S, S square plus 2. You can see from the given impedance function it is a LC circuit as there is the simple pole at origin and all other poles and zeros lies in the imaginary action moreover the poles and zeros are occurring on alternation so now we go according to our steps in first steps First, we expanding the bracket term, then arranging it into the ascending order, then we check the power of the lowest term, that is the lowest power is checked according to our second step. lowest power of denominator should be greater than that of the lowest power of numerator and this state is satisfied by our given question so we do not convert 
or we do not exchange in this question so our third step is we perform the continued fraction Our aim should be in order to cancel the first term here. The first term is 3. So the easy way will be just multiply the 2s with x in order to get the 3 and we get x equals to 3 by 2s. So our question is 3 by 2s so that we can cancel the first term that is 3. If you got experience after solving so many problems, then you can directly use the question in order to cancel the first term. You may get trouble at the beginning, so it is better to multiply with x and find the value of x that will cancel the first term. We perform the continuous fraction till our remainder is 0. Now after getting the remainder 0, our next step will be representing the sequence here as we are re realizing impedance function so our, e so our sequence should be starting from Z1 then Y1 and then Z2 Y2 according to up to the number of the quotient
सो लेट अस रिप्रेजेंट आवर क्वेश्चन एज जेड वन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विल बी वाई वन देन जेड टू देन वाई टू सो आफ्टर प्लेसिंग द प्रोपर सिक्वेंस नाउ वी विल रियलाइज द क्वेश्चन एज आवर सर्किट कंपोनेंट हेयर जेड वन इक्व टू थ्री बाई टू एस देन इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द कैपेसिटेंस सिमिलरली वाई वन इक्व टू इंडक्टेंस ऑलवेज कंपेयर द इम्प्रेस फंक्शन विथ द स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन सो डेट यू डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज और स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन फॉर इम्प्रेन्स इज जेड इज इक्व टू आर प्लस वन बाय सी एस प्लस एल एस एंड एंड फॉर एडमिटेंस फंक्शन इट इज वाई एस इक्व टू वन बाय आर प्लस सी एस प्लस वन बाय एल एस सो आफ्टर कंपेरिंग we get the value of capacitance inductance so we get the our desired circuit thank you for watching my video